Okay, I'm going to show you how to use Excel to produce a cash budget. This cash budget is from a, a past exam question and there are the details. We have to produce a cash budget uh, for the three months ending 31st of May 2006 but first of all we have to come up with a schedule of accounts receivable. That information you will get from the first part here. You can see there's the credit sales and the collections history. I've put some of the information in, into this spreadsheet already. There are the credit sales which you have to put in with the correct months. There's the uh, repayment schedule. Um, what I have to do is to put in the months. I'm going to show you a trick here. So I'm going to drag that across with that thin plus sign and automatically it predicts what goes on there. So in December we had credit sales of 2,080,000 of which in the third month, which is March, we get 15% of that. So I'll type equals to that figure multiplied by um, this here. I'm not going to type in 15% but I'm going to click on that to make it um, a bit more secure. So in January, in March, I'm going to get the second month and the third month will appear in April. So let's just do that. Type equals to that amount uh, multiplied by the 35% this time. And that appears in that box. And I'm going to repeat that action for April multiplied by the 15% is there. Right. So I've done um, the collections from December and January now. This is where it starts to get a bit more difficult in February because we have to account for the discount as well. So um, I'm type equals to again, that's for every formula. That figure multiplied by the 50% and then I need to multiply that by uh, or take away the 6%. So the easiest way to do that is to do a formula 1 minus the discount, which is obviously that amount times 94%, um, and we end up with a figure there. So I'm just going to keep going with the others. That multiplied by 35%, that's the second month. And over here, we've got in February, oops, do that again. Start again, so that's equals to that multiplied by the 15%, and I'm done. So I've done those two March. I don't start receiving in April, so you've got to put it in that box there. That's equals to that amount multiplied by the 50%, and I've got to take away the discount again. See there's a formula. Press enter. There it is. I'm going to get the second month after. Multiplied by the 35. And you can see the pattern occurring here in April. Um, I'm going From April so I'm going to collect the first lot in May. So I've got that complicated formula again. Multiplied by 50. Multiplied by 1 minus discount and press enter. You'll notice here that we've got three amounts collected per month. Okay, I now need to total those so I'm going to use my auto sum tool and you can see here it's automatically saying do you want to add these together and I'm happy with that. Um, I'm going to put the same formula by using this small um, plus sign and there we are we've got the amounts in the respective columns here. Now that amount is going to go straight into my collections for accounts receivable. It's a bit messy here so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put my cursor on there and double click and see what happens. Okay. Now to link that cell from this here, from this tab, you can see how much easier it is Right. So if I want to change something, or if I made a mistake, I just make it here and it automatically transfer over into here. Right. So I've done the first couple of things from the cash budget. I've done that and that. I think to be methodic, we should just go through dot point by dot point. So I'm going to put in the $15,000 as opening balance, which goes down here. 
I'm going to flick black. Um, the the accounts receive the accounts payable, which um, is given here. Um, the thing you have to realise that it's paid in the following month, so February says paid in March and so forth. So I can put that into here. There's no discount available, so we don't have to calculate anything. So you can see that I've put those amounts from March and April into here. Remember that um, we pay the month later. So I've ticked off this month, uh, this this one, and then on, here's a whole lot of information about cash sales and so on that I have to put into the um, cash budget. So I'm just going to go through bit by bit as I go along. So cash sales, go across here. Um, and 210,000 so it's nicely increasing that's cool um, the next item is cash purchases that goes along across here um, and 136,000 okay operating expenses let's have a look at those now there's a complication here that you need to be aware of it says here that there's a 3,000 amount for depreciation. That's non-cash. Therefore, have to take it off these amounts. So 135 becomes 132. So let's put that in. The other ones. What was that? Uh, and 154. I've made a mistake here. That needs to be 168. Okay. Now we've ticked off that one. Dividend revenue of 2,000 that goes in this month here. We had a, we had drawings every month of 500, so I'll put that in there. Go with a little plus sign, drag it across. That's nice and easy. And we had a GST liability in this month, in April, of $12,000. So I've put all that information in nicely. I've accounted for the depreciation. Now we've got the new exercise equipment. Uh, that's going to be paid across the three months according to this. So that's 50,000 there, 35,000 there, and 15,000 there. So I've now got all those things in. Um, I'm now going to uh, do some calculations. My total receipts, I'm going to go to my auto sum tool again. And again, it's been fairly smart for me. So I get the little sign here, drag it across. I'm going to do the same here. Auto sum. Uh, it's not being that smart, so I'm just going to drag my mouse up there to say what I want added in. Drag this across. It's all good. So I've got more totals done. My receipts less payments. I type equals to. I click on that one minus that one. So it's my receipts minus my payments. Now I can see that I've got an excess, and in that in this cell, I'm going to add these two items together. So after this month, my now balance, my, my total balance now is 72,600. Now that balance is going to be the opening balance for the next month, so I'm going to type equals to that amount there, so it just links up nicely. Okay, and uh, uh, I'm just going to drag all these things across, you can see how this works. And hey presto, I'm finished now. So that's how easy it is to produce a budget in Excel. And I'm asking you guys to use uh, this level of complexity, um, plus, minuses, totals. And over here, we've got the multiplications and the complicated um, formula there. That's, what I'm, that's the level I'm asking you to come up to in order to get an A for Criterion 5, which is the software criteria. I'm hoping that's been useful to you, and uh, good luck in your test. Thanks for listening.